going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the network. And I'm not talking about Facebook. I'm talking about PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. There's been a lot of downtime between these two as of late. I think the last two years we've seen a lot of issues with both. Predominantly on PlayStation. Let me say that. PSN is just less secure. When it comes to security, PlayStation is just lacking. They, they don't have what Xbox has. Microsoft has a better security infrastructure. Microsoft is Microsoft. I mean, what are they known for? They're known for their security. They are basically the pioneers of the internet. And, and I would expect Microsoft systems to be a little bit better as far as security and, and stability than, than Sony's, to be quite honest. But PlayStation Network, like I said, they do go down a little bit more than Microsoft's. And as a predominant PlayStation gamer, I feel that burn often. Whenever it happens and I want to play a game, especially during times like the weekend, and you want to play and then all of a sudden your network's down, it just really burns. You want to, you want to strangle the person who may have done the attack. Because usually it's a DDoS attack that's causing it. There's a group of people in their mother's basement. She believes they're down there doing homework and they've got three computers together and they're trying to DDoS attack PlayStation or Microsoft. And that's usually what happens. But Microsoft isn't impervious to this. All right. Microsoft is not perfect. And this video is just to accent that, especially for the Xbox fans out there who like to just make videos and talk about the fact that, oh, the Xbox One, the Xbox Network don't never go down. The PlayStation Network down every day. It's not the case. Everybody is susceptible to getting screwed over every now and then. So on January 13th, on Wednesday, the Xbox Live actually went down and something kind of funny happened and I wanted to share with you guys. Xbox Live outage has Snoop Dogg down. Threatens to leave for PlayStation 4. <laughs> Xbox One and 360 owners were unable to take their consoles online Wednesday afternoon and into the evening. Xbox One experienced an outage that has taken the service down for several hours. The downtime has frustrated console gamers, including rapper Snoop Dogg, who went on a profanity-laced tirade via Instagram. Xbox Live went down not long after 2 p.m., and the Xbox support page posted the current status of the service as limited for quote in-game matchmaking, cloud storage, finding friends, game DVR, leaderboards, avatar editing, or pictures end quote. This affects the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Xbox services on Windows 10 devices. The Xbox support Twitter account has also been responding to individuals sending questions concerning why Xbox Live is down and when it'll be back up. The support team did not have an estimated time yet on when the service would be back up despite heading into prime time gaming hours for much of the United States. This is a quote from the Xbox support team. It says, quote, our teams are still on the case looking into issues with Xbox Live. Thanks for being patient and stay tuned for more info. We could not speculate on the ETA, but our teams are working hard to sort this out. Keep an eye on us. End quote. And that's Xbox support. So they really were trying to figure this thing out. No one really knows yet whether or not it was Phantom Squad or one of these uh, ragtag teams of nobodies. But it, the shit hit the fan. It really hit the fan when, when the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Snoop Dogg gets involved. So Snoop Dogg posted a video message on Instagram with the description, quote, message to Xbox One and EA server. Fix your shit or PlayStation, here we come, end quote. Presumably, the rap star was trying to play Madden with others. Now, Snoop's actual message was more like this, quote, a message to Xbox One and Microsoft or whoever the fuck. Y'all motherfucker servers are fucking whack, man. Y'all going to make me switch to PlayStation if you don't hurry up and get this shit fixed? Is it that difficult to play someone online? What the fuck is you doing, Bill Gates? Fix your shit, man, end quote. Obviously, Bill Gates is no longer in charge of Microsoft and hasn't been involved in the day-to-day -day operations since 2008. The current CEO is Satya Nadella, and Phil Spencer is the current head of Xbox. Neither executives has said anything about the Xbox Live outage as of yet, and the only official word has come from the Xbox support page via Twitter. So, of course, Xbox is back up. We all know that, uh, but my whole point is, and I'm, I'm seeing Snoop Dogg. I don't know. For some people, when you wear when you wear glasses, some people it makes you look smarter. But Snoop Dogg just looks like a Chihuahua wearing glasses. But he was playing his Xbox, and he's threatening them on Instagram. And I guess he's he had one of those Kanye West moments where he thinks that he like runs the world, and if he changes over, everybody's going to change over to PlayStation. It just doesn't work like that. But this video is just to accent to you guys that it happens to everybody. Nobody's perfect. Xbox goes down, PlayStation goes down. Do PlayStation need to definitely fix their infrastructure and get their online up to snuff? Absolutely. 
Microsoft is going to be a hard company to beat, though, because they are they are Microsoft. They created Windows. I mean, they are kind of their specialty is internet safety and security. So I would expect, or I'd at least hope, that the Xbox Live is a little bit more secure than the PlayStation Network. Hopefully, Sony gets their stuff together. But this video is just to show that. Xbox kind of has their issues as well. You guys let me know, did you have any issues on the 13th of January? Were you on your Xbox One or your Xbox 360 and you couldn't get on? Let me know in the comment section if that happened to you. Hopefully if it did happen to you, you had an opportunity to play something else. Because when it happens to me on PlayStation, I go over to my Xbox One. That's when I beat Ori in the Blind Forest. So thank you, Phantom Squad, for taking the PlayStation Network down because I had an awesome experience playing my Xbox. Suckers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. And definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.